The responsive design without media queries sound impossible, right? But with modern CSS techniques like clamp, min, max, and container queries, you can create layouts that automatically adjust without a single media query. In this video, I will show you how to use these CSS properties to make your website look perfect on any screen size. So what's wrong with media queries? While they are great for creating responsive designs, they can get messy and hard to manage, especially when you have multiple breakpoints for different devices, overlapping styles that conflict with each other, constantly updating your design to match new screen sizes. But the good news, you don't need media queries anymore, thanks to modern CSS features that adjust your layout automatically. Let's start with clamp. This property allows you to set a value that adapts between a minimum, preferred, and maximum size. The value 1.5 RAM sets the minimum font size, meaning the text won't get smaller than this, no matter how narrow the screen is. The value 4 viewport width x is the preferred size, which means the text will scale based on 4% of the viewport width, adjusting automatically as the screen size changes. Lastly, 3 RAM sets the maximum font size, ensuring that the text won't grow bigger than this, even on large screens. This balance allows your text to stay readable and responsive without needing media queries. Next up are min and max, two properties that help you create responsive sizes that automatically adjust based on the screen size. These properties are great for ensuring that elements stay within a comfortable range, whether on small phones or large desktops. Use min property allows you to set a size that is responsive but won't exceed a specific maximum. In this case, the container will take up 90% of the viewport, ensuring it adjusts as the screen size changes. However, it won't grow beyond 1200 pixels, which is perfect for keeping content containers centered and easy to read even on large monitors. On the other hand, max property works the opposite way. It sets a size that is responsive but won't go below a certain minimum. Here the sidebar will always be at least 300 pixels wide, ensuring it remains usable even on smaller screens. However, if there is enough space, it can expand to 20% of the viewport making better use of larger screens. Use min property for main content areas to prevent your content from becoming too wide and difficult to read. Use max property for sidebars navigation menus or cards that should stay visible without overpowering the main content. This approach helps you create clean, responsive layouts without relying on breakpoints or media queries, making your code more efficient and easier to manage. One of the most exciting updates in modern CSS is container queries. Unlike traditional media queries that adjust based on the viewport size, container queries respond to the size of the container itself. This is especially useful when building components that need to adjust their layout depending on the parent element. Not the whole screen. In this example, the card container will switch its content to a column layout when its width becomes 400 pixels or smaller. Unlike media queries, this change happens based on the container's size, not the viewport size, allowing for more modular and flexible designs. Use container queries for cards, grids, or UI components that need to adjust when placed inside different layouts like sidebars, models, or nested sections. And that's how you can make fully responsive websites without a single media query. By using clamp, men, max, and container queries, your layouts will automatically adjust to any screen size, no more guessing breakpoints or fixing layout bugs. 